Welcome back to Cooking for Health. Joining us today is Dr. Jesse Barnes with an educational message about the importance of a low salt, low sodium diet. Hello everyone. Thanks for checking out these online Cooking for Health videos. I'm Dr. Jesse Barnes. I work at First Choice in the South Valley. The theme this month is a low salt, low sodium diet. Technically, salt and sodium aren't exactly the same thing, but for the purposes of nutrition, they're often used interchangeably. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll see videos from our excellent chefs about delicious ways to reduce the amount of salt in your meals. Lowering our salt intake is important because high salt diets are related to high blood pressure, which in turn increases our risk of complications like heart attacks and strokes. For people with chronic conditions like diabetes and high cholesterol, lowering salt intake and lowering blood pressure is even more important. The recommended daily salt intake for an adult is 2,300 milligrams, but over 90% of adults in the United States consume more than that. The main problems are processed foods, fast food, and restaurant meals. The best ways to lower your salt intake are cooking at home, and eating out less. Choose low salt options when shopping, especially for things like snacks, chips, and crackers, and canned soups and vegetables. Avoiding sauces that have a lot of salt, like certain types of broth and bouillon, soy sauce and teriyaki sauce. And getting rid of your salt shaker and using other spices like garlic, pepper, or oregano to season your food. We generally do not recommend using salt substitutes as these often have very high levels of potassium which can cause other health problems. So in summary, there are some easy steps we can take when shopping and eating to reduce our salt intake. This can then help improve our blood pressure and reduce our risk of having heart attacks and strokes. The recipe videos that you'll see this month on our Cooking for Health YouTube channel can give you some excellent ideas about how to do this. I hope you enjoy them. Thanks again for watching. Cooking for Health. A community cooking class brought to you by First Choice Community Healthcare, Agricultura Cooperative Network, La Cosecha, and other valued community partners. Thank you for watching. Tune in for the next fun and healthy recipe from Cooking for Health.